Hey everyone, welcome back to Suburban Sill. So today I have a project that I'm just gonna do on a, a whim. I don't know if you remember a while back I did the fern terrarium project, which was super fun, but those ferns outgrew that little terrarium so fast that I had to upgrade to this large terrarium. And I had some trade scantia uh, cuttings and then I wanted some color, so I added like a Fetonia in there. And you can see it is so overgrown and quite honestly, it's kind of gross in there. So I'm gonna clean this up and try to make it cute again. And with all the overgrowth, I'm going to try and propagate my Trade Scantia and my Fetonia. Um, I gotta see what's going on with my ferns in there. Um, but then uh, we'll see, see kind of how it goes. So let's check what's under the hood. Now I've been waiting to do this, um, mostly because I wanted to do it outside and it's finally nice enough that I can get outside. Ah, gross, right? Ooh. So that's not pretty. That's not pretty at all. It's disgusting. But I think that I could maybe clip some of these, cut it back, fix this up, and make a cute trade scantia plant with some of this overgrowth. Look at all these little roots in here. It's just overcrowded. Like, oh, there's a fern, a heart leaf fern. And then I have a little, like, maiden hair back here, maybe you can kind of see. So, first thing, I. Always treat my scissors with rubbing alcohol. I'm gonna do it to the side here so I don't spray my plants with rubbing alcohol. That way they're clean, because a lot of times I just use kitchen scissors, which I'm sure you're like, gasp, that's disgusting. Well, I should probably invest in some decent gardening scissors. Um, I just haven't yet. So the trade scanty, I think I can just clip it back, you know, kind of underneath a node maybe, or just, just kind of kind of give it a clip. I mean, pretty simple. They're all stretched out because um, it was in a low light situation for a while too. So that's also part of the problem, which I'm going to remedy that. Look at the beautiful silver. I love the beautiful silver. It was all twisted up because I was in the top there. The Trade Scantia was just, um, it started as just a couple of cuttings and it's just like really taken over, which is pretty cool, but also a little annoying. You know, those make the, the uh, Trade Scantia, or the Wandering Jew, as it's commonly known, it makes really great for a hanging basket. So maybe that's what I'll do when I get these cuttings rooted up, is make a nice little hanging basket. I mean, they already have, like, roots. Look at that. I could probably just lay it on top of some soil, and it'd probably just go right in. Maybe that's what I should do. All wrapped up in my little maiden hair. Here. Oh wow, look at that. This root is actually reach grown all the way down and has reached into the soil there. That's impressive. Should get some rid of some of this dead stuff too. Now let's get some of this. 
Atonia. I'll have to look up what kind of Atonia it is because I cannot remember. I know it's a really common one and I feel like I should know, but I don't. I can't remember. The red kind. It's already looking so much better. So you gotta be, when you do a terrarium, like when the leaves start touching the glass is when it can start to rot. And that was a problem for, or is a problem for the fern, for sure. Let's see if I can get that out of there. Just kind of gotta get some of that dead stuff out. Ugh, mushy stuff. Ooh, ooh. So, one other thing I think I might do is Let's tuck this guy in here, is um, put down some new soil and just kind of sprinkle it around on the outside. Just a little bit, not a lot, just a little bit maybe. Okay, I'm just gonna take a little bit and just kind of maybe replenish. I don't know, I feel like this is dangerous. Definitely don't want to cover up any of the leaves. But there's like an area over here where I feel like it needs a little bit more soil. Next thing I want to do is clean up this nasty glass. It is nasty. I'm just going to use water. Actually, you know what? I should just spray it with some rubbing alcohol to clean it up. That's going to help the overall appearance like a bunch. A bunch. Okay. So much better, and the inside also needs a good wipe. So I'm just gonna use water on the inside though. I don't know if you have any terrarium cleaning trips, tr tricks, let me know. Leave me a comment and let me know because I would love to hear your thoughts. Because like I said, I'm kind of doing this one on the fly. I haven't really done this before and I would really like to keep this terrarium you know what I wonder if I sprayed it with water and then just wiped it if that would help because this needs a good watering too it just needs a good spray down let's see what's going on on this back side here you can see the little lovely maiden hair. Hopefully that new soil that I put in there doesn't have any like fungus gnats or anything in it. Cause that is really gross when there's like fungus gnats floating around inside of your terrarium. The Trade Scandia does Trade Scantia does a really good job of kind of running 
along the inside of it. Kind of does cool stuff when you tuck it down in there. so much better. Okay. I'm feeling so much better about this lovely little terrarium that I would like to keep longer. I mean, I think, let's see, I made this in the fall and I'd like to keep it going. So now that we got that cleaned up, Take a look at our trade scantia here. Whoa. We got some stuff going on. All right. I have an idea. Right back. I'm going to try something here. I got some soil. Let's get it all moist. So, here's my thought process. Do these already have like little roots? I'm just gonna set that on there. This one too. that are coming out are really like just skinny little things. All right, that's good for this guy. I don't know, we'll see if that works. I don't know if it does. I might put a, um, a Ziploc bag over the top, maybe, just to give it some added humidity. Now for my little Fetonia, it's awfully stretched out. Should have cut more. I definitely should have cut more of that. I don't know. So let's see what happens with these guys. And I might add some more to this Fetonia because that just, I mean, what am I going to do with that? Two little pieces? 
I guess I can make an arrangement. I don't know. So I'll see if I can find some more of this, but. All right, so let's check back in in a couple weeks and see where we're at with these little propagations. Hopefully these little leaves will unwrinkle themselves because they were stuck up in the top of that terrarium. But, all right, until next time. I'm back with a quick update on how the propagation is going for the trade scantia. Um, the water propagation, the doesn't look all that great. The leaves are a little crunchy, but I've got a lot of roots going. Um, so, I mean, it can definitely be propagated in water, which I think we all kind of knew that, but it, it's not pretty. This was a lost cause. I kind of knew it when I stuck it in there. I don't, I mean, it's got a couple of little roots going. See that? So it's not a total lost cause, but I mean, who wants two little twigs that look like that? Just not worth it. Now the real champion is the trade scantia in the soil with the Ziploc bag. Obviously the humidity played a huge role in the success here. Um, if I can get this bag off. Isn't that cute? The leaves look much better. Look at that. All straightened out, looking all cute and flush. Um, we've even got some new little growth in there. If you can kind of see new little leaves sprouting. So uh, that is definitely the winner. Soil with a bag for humidity. They're all kind of rooted in. I can give it the kind of the pull test. Oops. Um, so yeah, that definitely worked out. And here I was kind of skeptical on that one, but definitely the winner. So thanks for checking out this video on how to kind of clean up your terrarium when it gets a little hairy. Also some trade scantier propagation tips in there in case you have some hanging plants that you want to cut back and you don't want to throw away your cuttings. Just go ahead and stick them on the soil with the bag and you will get a cute new little plant. Don't forget, you can follow me on social media at Suburban Sill and check out my website, SuburbanSill.com for plant posts and other fun little plant projects. So thanks again for stopping by and we will see you next time.